Good morning everybody, this is Lara from Pure Elliott Wave with your Monday to Friday update for Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. Technicals only for Bitcoin, I have just updated my Elliott Wave analysis and I've done an 18 minute video for that for my subscribers on my website. If you want it you can get it, there are links in the description box down below. On this YouTube channel, technicals only for Bitcoin but I will go through Elliott Wave for Ethereum and XRP for you. Bitcoin is moving higher, it's so far this session it's moved above resistance at 71,500 so if it can close above that resistance will come become support at 71,500. There is next resistance above at 73,100. It is moving higher with push from volume. The last completed week, the close for this, 68,913. So there was still resistance at the close. It's There was resistance at 71,500. But this completed week has a bullish long lower wick. So it looks like this consolidation could be about to end. It's a little bit clearer at the daily time frame. At the weekly time frame, we are starting to see volume increase with overall upward movement. I keep saying I am very skeptical of this crypto compare data. Most data, all, all data sources do see a drop in volume from May 2023 through to end of May into June, July, August 2023 and up through to this year, but not as much as crypto compare. This is a huge drop. ADX tells us at the weekly time frame there is still an upward trend. It is very Extreme, but when you look back at Bitcoin's strong bullish runs, the previous ones up to previous all time highs before big bear markets, you will notice that ADX will reach this very extreme look about just before midway to around midway within those bullish runs. ADX can reach even more extreme while a bullish run continues with extreme volatility. This is a very extreme market. RSI is still overbought. There is a little pivot here on RSI. There's a very small pivot on price, but it's only one red candlestick. It's only just red. It's almost a doji and it's got a bullish long lower wick. I'm just not considering that's a decent enough pivot on price to identify divergence from here to hear and so I'm not going to consider it unless the current week closes red then we'll have a decent pivot on price and then I would identify divergence. Waiting for a decent pivot on price and RSI or money flow is one technique I've developed over the years to try and filter out those instances where you see potential divergence and it just doesn't move into anything. It then just disappears and price continues in the same direction of the major trend anyway. Money flow is back in neutral after that little consolidation. ATR continues to show a very strong increase even as price was moving sideways this is extremely bullish. Volatility has returned to this market and even during a consolidation is not moving away. Technicals on the daily. This current session has moved above what was resistance at 71,500. It looks likely it's probably going to close above that point. So if that is correct, resistance will turn to support at 71,500. Look for next resistance at 73,100. The last completed upward session has some push from volume day on day. We're starting to see an increase in volume as price moves higher along with an increase in range. This is extremely bullish for the short term. I will expect new all-time highs today, maybe Tuesday, if not Tuesday, then most likely Wednesday. Now balance of probabilities, this is not a statement of certainty. There's no way any analyst can give you any certainty with any market ever. It's a balance of probabilities. I'm saying I think it's more likely than not that we're going to see new all-time highs on a closing basis from Bitcoin Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And as always, I could be wrong. There's a nice little range now with on balance volume for Bitcoin at the daily time frame. This resistance line has four tests. It's reasonably long held for this time frame, not too long, but it's certainly not short. And it's got a fairly shallow slope, so it does have some reasonable technical significance. If the current session does close green, on balance volume will break above resistance. That will give us a reasonable bullish technical signal. And that, if Monday doesn't close to new all time highs, if we do get a bullish signal from on balance volume, that would add some confidence in calling for new all time highs on a closing basis for Tuesday or possibly Wednesday. I will watch on balance volume very, very carefully at the daily time frame for you tomorrow. Let's see if it gives us another signal. We've used it before like this before on this channel haven't we and it's given us some wonderful signals sometimes on balance volume will form a consolidation zone and break out just before price does giving you advance warning of what price is about to do. It's 
one of the best ways to use on balance volume and when you do it like that it turns it into a leading indicator there are very very few things in technical analysis that are leading indicators this is one I use this with confidence ADX is still declining it's setting itself up so beautifully for a strong signal if we see a continued upward movement it may turn around and have a positive slope but right now it's still declining after reaching very extreme the consolidation of the last couple of weeks or so has managed to reduce or relieve short-term extreme conditions setting Bitcoin up for the larger bullish trend to resume remember ADX at the weekly time frame still tells us there is an upward trend RSI is nicely neutral as is money flow ATR showing a little bit of a decline at the end of that consolidation at this time frame so a little bit of a decline in volatility at the end of the consolidation absolutely normal behavior I will expect this to start to turn around and show an increase if price does break to new all-time highs my main Elliott wave count for Ethereum shows the middle of a third wave may have passed it's subdividing as almost a textbook perfect Elliott wave impulse minute three begins here we have minuet one two three four five is expected to be a long extension because this is a fifth wave to end a third wave one degree higher for commodities and particularly cryptocurrencies which behave like very extreme commodities it is the fifth wave to end third waves one degree higher which are almost always the longest and strongest portion of the impulse and so my target is for minuet five to reach 2.618 the length of minuet three at 8130 which is just four dollars short of where minute three would reach the fibonacci ratio 6.854 the length of minute wave one at 813 for a short or relatively small target zone just four dollars at two degrees should have a reasonable probability I'm not saying that this is where it's going to end of course again this is all a balance of probability nothing in this is certain my not target ballpark figure for minor three is for it to reach an extreme Fibonacci ratio 11.09 the length of minor one at 13325 that's still months away probably Within this impulse of minute, minute three, Minuet four, if it were to continue, may not move into wave one price territory below 2717.20. Technicals for Ethereum, finding resistance right now at 3680. If it can close above that, look for next resistance at 4100. Upward movement is coming with some increase in volume and range. And at this low, at the end of the pullback, we do have a bullish reversal signal. This Dragonfly Doji suggests that this little short-term pullback is likely to be over, especially now as it's followed by upward movement with support support from volume and an increase in rain. Upward movement has an increase in volume day on day for the short term. This is for the short term bullish. On balance volume for Ethereum gives us a couple of bullish signals, a break above resistance, a test of support moving up and away. This suggests that we are going to get continued upward movement. But for Ethereum, the signal isn't very strong because this trend line that's breached has a reasonable slope. So this is a weak bullish signal. ADX is declining there's plenty of room again for a new trend at this time frame to develop remember at the weekly time frame for ethereum there is still an upward trend RSI is neutral there's plenty of room for that larger upward trend to continue at the daily time frame now money flow is neutral plenty of room for the larger upward trend to continue ATR has been showing a decline as price moves sideways I will expect if the upward trend is continuing to see an increase in ATR this week here is my main Elliott wave count for XRP it expects that a pullback is complete now for a second wave correction subdividing as a zigzag impulse for A running contracting triangle for B short impulse for C starting now on a third wave at minute minor intermediate and higher time frames this is within primary and cycle third wave now at five large degrees I expect an increase in upward momentum from XRP XRP is broken above what was resistance at 60 cents expect resistance now turns to support look for next resistance above at 0.675 the target from the pennant I kept saying was probably far too low and I kept expecting that if we saw another test of the technically significant support area at 54 55 cents that that would be where the pullback ends but it did fall short on the 4th of April and we got the strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern this is the strongest reversal pattern it, it did also have some push from volume so that was the day I expected that the low was in place and we're going to get upward movement and that's exactly what we're getting so far for XRP it has some push from volume for the short term that's good to see it doesn't have to be stronger than these movements it just has to have push from volume for the short term in order for some confidence in that upward movement XRP also has a nice range on on balance volume let's look for a 
breakout this week of this range to potentially give us a signal. ADX is at a really, really low level. It set itself up beautifully for a new signal. We might get a signal toward the end of this week for XRP. I'll watch this one closely. RSI is below 50. There's such a lot of room for a larger upward trend to resume. Money flow also neutral. ATR for all of them declining. That's it from me today with your quick update for these three. I hope everyone had a lovely weekend.